it's almost the weekend. How about a movie? Live at Four movie critic Will Loper is here with this week's Loper Report. Hi, Will. Hey there. So everyone's favorite fish with memory problems is back in another Pixar sequel, and it's projected to have the second biggest opening of the summer. Take a look. See, I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss. Ellen DeGeneres no, is returning as the I'm title no character one. in I'm Finding Dory. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. It runs in my family. Well, I mean, at least I think it does. Um, hmm. Where are they? This time around, Dory is searching for her family. I lost my family. Where did you see them last? I forgot. Arlen and Nemo come along for the journey. Our friend got taken into whatever this place is. It's a fish hospital. I feel fantastic! Dude. Along the way, the trio meet old friends like Crush the Sea Turtle. I know. Isn't it great? No! I'm gonna be totally sick! The California Kurt, dude, got some gnarly chop. And run into new characters, such as Hank the Octopus, voiced by Ed O'Neill. I have to find my family. That's a hard one, kid. Finding Dory is rated PG. I don't want to be touched. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody does it. Nothing to be ashamed of. Today is your training day. Kevin Hart has teamed up with Ice Cube and Ride Along, and Will Ferrell in Get Hard. Hello. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has teamed up with Samuel L. Jackson in The Other Guys, and Sean William Scott in The Rundown. Now, Hart and Johnson are joining forces in Central Intelligence. Spoiler alert. I'm in the CIA. Are you joking with me right now? Bottom line, are you in or are you out? Well, then I'm out. Actually, you're already in. Then why would you ask me? Because I thought you would go, I'm in, Bob, and we would have had a really cool moment, but you kind of ruined the whole thing. Take my gut. We may have to kill some people. I will do no such thing. I think you'll like it. I will not. The Rock plays Bob, a CIA agent who used to be made fun of in high school for his appearance in what is quite possibly the most terrifying CGI of all time. <laughs> Well, there's no coming back from that. Bob comes back home and enlists his former friend, Kelvin, to help him on a very important mission. An enemy of the state stole the encryption keys to the entire U.S. spy satellite program. I need your super sweet accounting skills to help me figure out the last piece of this puzzle. No! I got a plan. Might get us both killed, but if it works, it'll be a totally boss story. Cool? No. No, it's not cool. Cool. No, I said it's not cool. Central Intelligence is rated R. Oh, you can't unsee that. Things you can't uh, unsee. That may give me nightmares, yes. <laughs> Finding Dory oh, looks so cute, Absolutely, and, and Pixar's track record, I mean, they're, all their movies are terrific. They're pretty much all Cars 2, maybe not so much, but yeah, they're back with a sequel, so. And big box office, we were expecting. This. Yes, absolutely, and Disney, I mean, they are just cleaning up this summer. They've already had two movies that crossed a billion, Jungle Book is looking to cross a billion, and this wow. may be their fourth, so, yeah. I'm gonna get some of my money. Yeah. I think I so, too. See I wanna see it, too. I think we're all going, really yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we'll check out your reviews Monday morning yeah. on News 3 this morning. Yep, that's right. Thanks, Thanks Will. Thank you.